welcome to another ride along with goggles and oh boy it's arkansas time <laughs> and uh it's actually i'm loving it i really am uh we had a live stream yesterday and oh geez three and a half hours or so just pure joy i uh, really enjoyed it the uh, scenery is good it's different it's you know all these wooded forests and things that i was just hoping for and you know, it just looks so different, and there was folks on the live stream who were commenting how much it looks like their neighborhood as they were from Arkansas or living in Arkansas, and or I guess, yes, yeah, some folks had grown up there and moved away, but uh, yeah, overall, the ratings from the Arkansians is good, and yeah, I got to give it a big thumbs up. I really enjoyed it. So anyway, what we're doing today is parked on the side of the road here because we're going to take this two-lane road up to a logging site you get some dynamic log loading we're going to head on down to we're up in the north end of arkansas around the harrison area we're south of harrison and we are going down to el dorado to the big honking pulp uh, or paper plant and so that's pretty cool so i'm going to have a look at the map first thing and see what we're doing so we got to get up this road so i haven't been up it before and who knows maybe we'll get maybe the loads out of there i don't know so i noticed this with other uh, chuck and jacks that we did in the live stream like this one so there's actually three places to pick up here so you go here you could get loading right here you could get loading all the way down here and you could get loaded here I didn't drive down that little bit there to see what was there. I accidentally discovered this hidden road. <laughs> First time up, I uh, was supposed to go this way, and I turned this way like, a, you know, you know the way I am. Kind of lost half the time. And all of a sudden, we're <laughs> I glimpse at the uh, GPS, and it's discovering a road. And I go, hey, look, I discovered a road. I thought I was go going this way still. So, I mean, that's kind of comical, but, hey, that's just the way I roll uh so anyway yeah up here we're gonna head on down we're gonna go on down through the heart of Ar arkansas to here and you can see the roads we did in the live stream did quite a bit all over the place and you can always go back and check that because it's uh it's on youtube and uh yeah it's a it's a awesome thing so let's hop in fire the truck up and head up the hill and see what we got we got the viper uh 379 here with the Hell Creek logging skin on it and uh yeah we uh, get after it and hop in here just like wow haven't been on this road yet but just look at that oh man it's pretty This is the uh, Viper, uh, not the Hater Grove. This is the old Viper I have on my uh, Google Drive. Uh, there's a link for it in the uh, on my Discord. Oh, very cool. 
Jeez Louise. Might have to get a photo on the way out of here. This engine is one of the ones that comes with the truck, in case you're wondering. It's the 720 horsepower one. It's the one with the badge on the side of the hood. There's a seven, or sorry, an 840 version as well. But for these log loads, they're kind of light. This makes a good logging truck, though. It's got a good headache rack, and, uh... Yeah, she's a good one. Jump out here. Chuck and Jacks. <laughs> An old sea can for the, the sign. It's interesting. Okay, we should have the one down to El Dorado. There we go. And yeah, lesson learned. God, I was getting impatient in the live stream and I was messing up the. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta look at the map and see which of these legs we're going to. Oh, good. We're going to the farthest away one. Nice. Wonder what. Okay, well, we'll see what's going on here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's three loading opportunities and we're just getting one of them. I got asked uh, again in a comment about the little info screen on the bottom of the uh, monitor there. And it's trucky. So it's... It's a freebie. Don't look in sight. Oh, we're going downhill. Maybe. If that's what we're going to. Looks like it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, shoot. Have to look at the map again or what? Yeah, we better check the map. We're going to get lost here. Oh, yeah, that's us down there. But it's just going up further now. Wait a minute. This, oh, I see. We could go up to the. Well, let's go up to the corner. But, I mean, this all looks really cool here. We'll come out this way. we we'll just discover what's up here. Here's the new log loaders that are in 151. Here's a dynamic loading set right here. That old grapple there along the fold, and that log loader will load you up. And I think the log load looked pretty good. Uh, we'll have another look at it here. You guys be the judge. I think it looks... Oh, here's a... Oh, no, that guy's loading the top grinder. Okay, there's another site. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, what's in there? We got the no tub grinder, just log loading. Okay, so no uh, chips there. It looks like down there is where we're. Oh, look at that route, that road. That's probably where we're going down there. I would imagine.
Gonna shake the owls out of the trees. That Jake. Well, maybe that wasn't the site we're going to. Wow, look at this. So let's, oh, so we gotta go around the mulberry bush here. Wow, very cool. So I learned the hard way, don't be, be patient. Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll start loading. You, you get the yellow park icon like we do with the grain loading and just uh, do what it says, you know, turn the engine off. Switch your brakes, I guess, and turn the engine off and hang on and then you'll start loading as we're about to see. He's, he picked up some logs. He's all ready to go. So let's uh, to skip loading. We want to do that. We want to oh trigger. We went too far. I guess should be yellow. There we go. Yeah, don't press anything. You press a button, it'll just load you. Okay, here we go. It's kind of cool, but I mean, at the same time, you know, boom, hey, all of a sudden there's three times as many logs as he had on the grapple. But it's kind of neat. But the logs actually look pretty good. Those, those, those are definitely not the same logs we had before. They look really good. It'd be cool if the truck shook when you're in it. Uh, oh, excuse me. Should have jumped in for that middle load and just see if the truck shook or not. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Doesn't look like it shook. And he's all done. And we'll get the okay to go as soon as he's back in position there. There we go. So let's uh, look out the back window. Yeah, it would be interesting to be, oops, looking out there and watch it load. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get going. Jeez, there's so many uh, photo opportunities on the way out of here. Oh, boy. All right, let's do it. What have we got for weight here? Yeah, 24,613. Not even much. But the logs uh, themselves look pretty good. Definitely look like pine. Gonna stop for a photo read here. Probably gonna get a bunch on the way out. You're gonna have to. Bear with me. Oh, that's cool. Sorry about that. I was so keen to get in there with the photo, I forgot to pause first. But, uh, yeah. Cool photos. Cool spot.
Yeah, I used to truck on the last run in the live stream yesterday, and I was wondering what gears I had in it because I was running awful fast on the highway and uh, did have 370s in it after all. So I swapped them out for some 355s. I mean, you know, we got plenty of power for, you know, we could have 336s easily. As we, and these loads aren't very heavy. Oh, yeah, so that's that other site down there. We don't want to go there. Skid steer, or uh, sorry, uh, skitter. It's got uh, chains on it. I guess they got a. I was kind of chuckling at them in the uh, live stream because they were kind of sparse. But I guess you couldn't put a proper set of logging chains on there because it <laughs> break the pixel count or whatever it is. Polygons. Because real logging chains for skitters are pretty freaking insane. Well, let's jump out here and have a look at what's I didn't get for scenery as we go through here. See what's going on on the left here. Just gonna unpause for a sec. <laughs> Just look at the view out there. Oh my God, it's so cool. The distant mountains there. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's get back to it. going to unpause again. Look at that photo. <laughs> Jeez. Place is photogenic, I'll say. Hard to drive in the cab, I'll tell you, when you get all this to see out here. Just, you know, this. Oh, there's a couple more logging trucks. Had an old school truck pulling that first one. 389. Looking the part. Day cab.
a stop sign coming up here. I think we do. Okay, Lori, spit it out. What are we doing? Stop that. Maybe she hasn't learned Arkansas yet. Oh, oh geez, that guy's coming in at an angle. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a real quick look at the map. See how long we're going to be out there. I want to jump out on the roof for a while and see some of this. So, 530. We're looking for 167. Okay. Oh, shoot. Just had to hit the map button. Jump out here and look around as we go. That's another thing that I've noticed a couple times now, where you get the uh, green and the extended, or the left-hand turn, uh, instead of both uh, left-hand turns and then straight through. Oh, what's on the sign up there? Flavor, right, or whatever it is, Flavor Fair.
Little Rock Police. Police station. Once again, the mirrors are really good. through the Mississippi River. Oh yeah, there's that paddle boat we saw you yesterday. Too cool. Sixty-seven. That's what we're looking for. And sixty-seven. Pine Bluff. Yeah, sure looks like another world, doesn't it? I like the thickness of the forest, so you can look into them and... Oh, fireworks in the tent. I guess that's better than blowing up a building. <laughs> Boy, those places go off. Holy cow. they go further east and get more of this kind of scenery. It's great. Once again, because I don't get to see it every day, you know, like I, I don't look like this where I live.
it's got to be, as I'm mentioning in the live stream, I think it's got to be AI that's helped them lay all these trees out in a nice random fashion that looks kind of natural. They, they don't look like somebody just went and picked them up and put them there. They look uh, something different about it. Probably need some of those key lit. Oh, what was that? A Chuck and Jack's down the road here? Yeah, oh, we better look at the map. Where's my map? Oh, look at that. Another one with three sites, probably more. Probably got something there and here and there and there. God dang it, where is this? El Dorado. Jeez Louise. Wow. Great. that this state isn't as big as some of the, well, excuse me, not nearly as big as some of the other ones that come out previously, and I'm not talking about Texas, because that's enormous, but um, yeah, as they get into these smaller states, they got to start dropping them two at a time. Oh boy, oh, don't want to hit those cones on the side of the road. They are pretty solid. Playing tourist here. Sorry, I'm not. That's it. I'm just gawking around and looking at stuff. Hope you're doing the same. Uh, keeping up the running commentary. Fifty-six miles to go. Chase cam works good out here with this kit with this truck anyway. Works better than I do. Jeez, all over the road again. Light. Oh, 
it's a good thing we didn't have a lot of weight on. We got a lot of access. We got brakes coming out the wazoo. Oof. That's, uh, no, the, <laughs> the uh, straps aren't angled forward like the whole log load shifted. Yeah, so the uh, locks look quite a bit different. Oh man, look at that guy's, he's a little cheeky. Man. My youngest is really skinny, but you couldn't fit her through there. That was... Not much room there. The Jass is wheels, wheels and tires going here, of course. Got some, got these ones here on the front of the truck too, they're on the trailer, and then we got the grippiest ones on the uh, drive axles. So we got those on our steer axles for off-road. Oh, we're getting hurry up, we got 30, 30 uh, miles, so we should be good. Didn't do it a bit too much of the tourista stuff. Close. Dude hit the brakes and we didn't hit him. Now he's still coming, so I guess he got over it pretty quick. That's the thing that annoys me in a snowy moon. Gotta keep doing this. There. Well, I hate that so much, I just took that dang snowy moon right out, because, uh, yeah, it crashed to the desktop, and it's done that uh, this morning as well, so that'd be a Monday morning, so. God. It looks pretty good without it. It's a little more wiggly up ahead there. That chain link fence, you see that fence coming up is wiggling a bit. Definitely notice a difference. God darn it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with it. I got the SMAA on Ultra. I'm gonna mess around with that, just see what settings, what settings I should be using with my graphics card, but boy, that's annoying. 
So we're not going to be messing around with that. Having to stop and change the uh, brightness of the screen or the uh, the settings in Snowy Moon anymore. Those days are over. And I believe I have Weather 3.1 running in this profile. Let's see if we can roll this thing and just hit the OK here. I think these are arms go up real quick here. Yeah, you don't need to stop. Hey Frank, George, Bill, how's it going? How was lunch? Good? Nice. I think we're, uh, wait a minute, we're going left here. Yeah, the unloading's down there. Now get this dynamic unload. See what that looks like. Why well, isn't quite the facility, eh? Holy moly. This thing goes on forever. In every direction. Unbelievable. Someday they won't be using paper and this will turn into something else or I'll be gone. <laughs> Who knows? So this is a little new. Where do you need it? Dynamic. Yeah, let's play it safe. And that was kind of the other way around. So we're going to, next video, we're going to do some dynamic unloading with um, grain or chips or something. Because before it was, uh, I can't remember, but the dynamic was in the middle, um, in the beta. So, but once again, we didn't have logs. Oh, I stalled it. Guess I should try too high a gear. Come on, baby. Let's go. This big conveyor uh, thing there. That's uh, so cool. Wow, it's just an awesome place. It's huge. the logs and fires them in there and that conveyor takes them up but uh oh did i not stop on the trigger no i didn't stop on it i didn't hit it. i didn't select anything on the trigger uh oh my bad time for some high speed reversing should put on my four ways looking around doing the tourist thing. There we go. Oh no. Well tell me you're not getting dynamic unloading. That'd be a let down. Maybe that's what I get for being a... Oh, you know what? You can see right here what I am. Oh, we can't see the plate. A doofus. <laughs> that's what I got on my plates, because I didn't know what else to put there. Oh no, we get dynamic unloading. Awesome. Well, which way do we gotta go drive in? Okay. Yeah, it's only going to be a matter of time before we get containers, too. And at, uh, like, you know, Port of Houston and Tulsa and, like, Rock Ports and all those places. Okay, now, oops, we're all through it again. And we will 
set the brake, turn off the ignition, and just leave it. Don't touch anything. There you go. Get the straps off there, will ya? There you go, thank you. <laughs> Magic how they all blend together. Yeah, it'd be so cool if they were um if they would stay visible and it would add or subtract. Oh well, maybe one of these days. I guess that's a question too. Well what's the frame per second? Let's see what's happening. 134, 6, whatever. See if it changes at all when he goes to grab him. Let's watch that and see what goes on. If there's a spike or anything. Oh, it's just a little drop. A teeny meeny weeny meeny hit. And then you just gotta wait for a second, then he's gonna give us the all clear. There we go. Very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first look at Arkansas. Uh, if you didn't see it in the uh, live stream or go and watch that. But um, boy, I'm just tickle pink about this. Uh, just, you know, it's just different. It looks good. I'm liking it. And uh, nice to get out in the old Viper again. That's a really, really old mod, but it's still, it, you know, it stands the test of time. And what can you say? It's. It's a freebie. I like it. Free is always good. So, uh, as always, guys, take care, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, likely going to be, I don't know, maybe we've got to do a chip van. Maybe we're going to get some dynamic unloading of a chip van one of these days. And <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, as always, take care. Catch you on the next one, and bye for now.